All right, Scott. Well, you got to uh, join the tour now. Uh, I know yeah. you had to miss the first couple, but uh... I've served my uh, <laughs> this disciplinary period, and I got to let me back on the bus. <laughs> uh, just what do you like about this the, this tour that you know seems to you know continue to be a big thing for y'all yeah. every year? Kind of, uh, I, I don't. I, I, I've kind of reminds me a little bit of political stumping. You're just trying to dr continue to keep that support going. Yeah, and, well, there's a lot. You know, there's 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 uh, they call it retail politics. And there's there's something to be said for getting out and, yeah. and uh, seeing people in the flesh. Um, you know, we have we have a, amazing communication tools where we're able to communicate with our fan base, whether it's Twitter or email or YouTube or whatever. Um, but there's nothing quite like getting in front of somebody and spending time one on one or, or as a group and, and uh, having that connection and. Um, you know, a lot of people uh, come on campus in the fall, and they may come to a few basketball games or a baseball game, but uh, this is a good time of year for us to get out and kind of reconnect and re-engage. You know, I know baseball still has some season left, but if you look back over the past academic year athletically, what did you see that you liked and maybe some, some areas you'd like to see uh, improved on? Well, you know, we probably have more teams participating in postseason play than we have in a long time. Yeah. Uh, football going to third straight bowl game. Uh, our, our, both, uh, our indoor track teams finished in the top 20. Uh, both our golf team for NCAA, our men's tennis has is, is got a national seed going into the tournament. Uh, our baseball team has a chance to host. I think our softball team is going to get in the NCAA regional. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, it wasn't uh, the records weren't what we wanted on basketball, but we kind of knew that going in with the transition. I really like the, the work ethic and, and the effort that we saw in both those programs and yeah. the building blocks that you're going to see long term that lead to success. Um, it's been a good year, and then you know the fans continue to. To, to help us, you know, whether it's buying season tickets or joining the Bulldog Club, uh, you know, we, we took our sellout streak in football to 23 straight games. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of great pieces in place, and uh, you know, part of the reason we're here today is we want to make sure people understand the importance of us continuing that. Yeah. Um, and when you when you you know we continue to grow those numbers, and you uh, look at the news with the SEC network and what that's going to mean from a uh, Exposure standpoint and a, hopefully a financial standpoint, it continues to, to put us in a position where we can win consistently and compete for championships. I don't know if you seek much outside validation for, for coaching hires, but Rick said he's got a lot of good response from the fans, even though you know a bad record. But he liked the, they like the way that the team plays. Yeah, I think everybody has a lot of respect for uh, uh, the way his team played, and despite all the adversity, the way he handled it. You know, he handled a lot, maybe a lot of toughness. Yeah. Uh, Jack Crystal stopped on the bus when we first got here, and. Uh, Told Coach Ray that he should have been SEC Coach of the Year the way you know what he got <laughs> winning five conference games with the, with six scholarship guys. Sure. Um, you know, really excited about looking forward to next year. We get a full roster, uh, two SEC all freshman guys who, who are coming back along with Fred Thomas, um, good nucleus, uh, and they're out there. Every, I mean, every time I turn around, Rick's on the road recruiting, trying to find the, those yeah. next Bulldogs to help build that program. What do you get asked the most on things like this? Uh, or is there a question you get asked? No, it's everything. It runs the gambit from um, you know hot dogs in the stadium to parking to expansion and, and facility questions. And, uh, you know, this time of year, everybody's really focused on baseball and I'm really proud of the, the job that, that Cohen and, and the team has done this year. And uh, I think everybody's excited about uh, about what the team can do going into the postseason. Hopefully, we can put ourselves in a position we can host uh, and, and get back into to that important Mississippi State tradition. How is expansion going, Davis? It's great. It's, it drop out every day, and it seems to uh, to be more and more impactful. To, to, it's going up out of the ground now, and, and uh, we're still looking at having the West Side Concourse done by this fall, and a lot of that lower bowl where we can put some of the students uh, back in uh, this fall being ready as well, and then obviously the final completion of 14.